back to my Patreon page, uh, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, there's a special offer running uh, on my Patreon. I've reduced my price uh, for subscription for only $29 per month. Uh, that may uh, that will actually increase in the future, so it's a very golden chance for uh, you can tell your colleagues and friends to come join me on my Patreon. In today's video, we are going to discuss uh, quite very interesting uh, long-term uh, swings are expected in uh, British pound, euro, gold, and silver. Uh, both euro and Canadian uh, British pound are a bit different as compared to gold and silver, so we'll discuss. Uh, all of them, all four of them. In today's video, first we'll discuss Euro, then British Pound, and then Silver, and then Gold. First of all, Euro. Um, the good thing about Euro is that it's going to provide us an opportunity, a good swing. Uh, let me first of all bring the uh, the yearly trend line. And I have mentioned this trend line quite a few times now. And then we can see that prices fell on them, and then we they have reversed. So it's a pretty good signal. We have also come out of the the falling trend line as well, giving us an indication that the downward price movement is done. Uh, there is a probability, but uh, we'll discuss that later. I'm expecting some sort of bearish price action, but in the future, not now. Uh, for right now, immediate price action that we're expecting is a deeper price action in Euro uh, upside right over here. So the major swing here, I'm giving you guys a swing that means that the traditional um, pullbacks are expected. It's not going to skyrocket. So the price will go up and come down and go up and come down. So if you're looking for a deeper price action, there is a possibility that we might see a new high beyond this one. All right. So there is a possibility that we might see a new high beyond this one. Uh, right now, I am bullish on uh, Euro. Let's have a look on hourly time frame to see if we are uh, can find some good uh, uh, patterns, Elliott wave analysis patterns. First of all, we can c count the 5F structure or you can consider impulsive, corrective, impulsive, corrective and impulsive of a larger degree. We have also completing a zigzag pat pattern right from the top and we can see that we have seen uh, from this bottom we have seen, uh, let me have a look yeah, from this bottom we have completed an impulsive and then we have a corrective pattern right over here which is a flat correction and we have also seen an impulsive move right over here. So right now I'm expecting that because we have seen a lot of price movement in Euro and we have seen a full pullback, I'm not expecting this pullback to be deeper. Uh, the reference point for Euro that can be used is one right over here, one right over here and one right over here. And once again I'm expecting regular pullbacks in Euro and we're expecting a deeper swing in Euro all the way up to the top. And there is a possibility once again that we might see a new top forming in this way. So it's pretty interesting behavior, uh, pretty good strong swing that we are expected to see in Euro. Let's have a look at British Pound and British Pound is also giving us very very good uh, trading setup. Uh, don't worry the trend is not, I'm not making this call just because of the trend line. I've done some inside analysis and all of that is pointing toward a deeper bullish price action in, in British Pound as well. So we're right now expecting that a deeper price action is expected in British Pound. In British Pound there is a possibility that we might see a new high beyond this one. All right. But right now, we are expecting a deeper price action. The major swing that we are expecting uh, is this way. If you look at the whole swing starting from this top or this top, we have been seeing deeper swings. And price crash and the deeper swing and then price and not so deeper. But if you look at this, this analysis is giving an indication that we are seeing deeper swings. Once again, price came down and a deeper swing and came down. And right now, once again, I'm expecting a deeper swing. I believe on a small time frame analysis, I've done some analysis right from off the top and I believe that the uh, bottom has been already formed in British Pound right over here. So we can use this bottom. Uh, there's also an indication that we went off beyond this high, beyond this low. There's a little uh, price came back, but I think that's just part of the correction. On hourly time frame, this is what we are seeing right now. Uh, this is the previous, uh, this is one high and this is the previous low right over here. So we can see pullbacks coming on a 30 minute chart. Let me zoom in. Start from this bottom, we are going bullish, right? So it's better with British Pound. Euro is different. With British Pound, I'm expecting that the only reference point I'm giving is this one. 
however I can give you some uh, I can point out some um, patterns Elliott wave patterns that I can straight straight away see an impulsive and a B and C a collective pattern and once again an impulsive pattern and there's a possibility a B and C a corrective pattern so there is a possibility could that be possibility that the correction is over or the other possibility is that we are completing a larger correction sideways in that means we have completed this way and will come this way but I'm not going to bet on it it's a 15 minute chart analysis I'm not going to bet whether this swing is complete or not I'm betting on one thing and that is I'm expecting a deeper price movement in in British pound so how is going to see uh, we should actually see larger price movement going downward it is not going to be a skyrocket price movement we will see price movement something like this so initial uh, initial going high and a correction and then going up or we can see initial going high side wave correction and then going up too all right both possibilities exist so how you trade is up to you but the largest swing that we're expecting in british pound is bullish um, silver has given us a very very good break of the the support line that we were in, uh, talking in our previous analysis and um, you guys can see that this low is very important so instead of using this low you can use now this low in my one of my discussions I indicated that we were expecting a crash from the top part of the crash did happen but a lot of a lot of solid truncation happened giving an indication that bulls are strong and that's what we see right over here we have seen a strong pullback does not mean that there is going to be a deeper price movement it only means that a lot of accumulation probably occurred on a very first uh, uh, wave it also is used to scare the uh, the bulls as well so right now I'm uh, bullish we have uh, come out of the price correction from the top right you can see the trend line has been really helpful we have not only come out we have gone up and we are seeing some sort of correction right now so I'm expecting that the bullish price movement carry on the next immediate top that we are expecting at least right now is this top double top and then we'll see some interesting price action around that and we'll be able to comment more around that price action so with gold and silver we have to be uh, solidly long term bullish on gold and silver so I'm solidly gold uh, bullish on gold and silver so I'm expecting major swings how they are going to be shaped is something that we'll discuss from uh, in, in the future videos the immediate swing that I'm expecting is creating a double top with the previous top right one so let's see if we can see find out some patterns initial patterns uh, some very uh, good uh, pri pri impulsive action and then we have seen some sort of straight away clear uh, flat correction without any a lot of stress in our head and then you're seeing another move another move down come down so this could be counted as a double three this definitely could be counted as a double three we are seeing high low sorry low a higher low and even higher low on a smaller time frame one must not bet on this but the solid reference point for silver is bottom this bottom form right over here and if you want to be a little even more careful then you definitely want to use this bottom or this bottom to go long in silver I'm definitely long on silver and gold as well gold is also giving some very good uh, price action it uh, went a little deeper than uh, but I remembered uh, talking about this trend line uh, in my one of our previous analysis straight away we can uh, we have come out of the trend line uh, an impulsive action once again a corrective action and we are seeing that we have come out of the trend line giving us an indication that the correction that started right from the top over here went quite a bit of deep is now complete so right now we can see that we have seen an impulsive action and a corrective uh, strategy uh, so a corrective pattern not strategy so we have seen a corrective pattern as well giving us an indication there is a possibility that we have completed a, a, the correction you can go sideways there is nothing that can stop it it's a market but one thing is very solid and that is that we have completed the correction and the next big swing that we're expecting in gold is bullish I'm expecting at least 2070 for the next one next run and then we'll discuss more how the price action is around the top wish you good luck with your trading come join me on my patreon which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wavegreen I'm your host Shaheen